everyone. How's everyone doing today? My name is Gina and I am doing great. So, as you can see and by the title, I wanted to do a watercolor today of a sunflower. So let's do it, shall we? Let me quickly tell you what I'm using. I'm using my Arches paper, nine and nine, bleh, nine by 12, the 140 cold press. I have cut it into quarters because I'm only wanting to use a quarter of this paper. So I've got that right here. I also am using my Winsor Newton Professional Watercolors. And the colors that I have are right here. And I believe I'm going to use the Cadfree Yellow Pell with the Yellow Okra. Maybe Cornecridone Gold? Maybe. Uh, we'll see. And uh, Burnt Umber, Lamp Black, and Sap Green. And maybe a little bit of Payne's Gray. That's another iffy type situation. So those are the colors that I'm going to be using. And the brush that I'm going to use, it depends. I do have my favorite, which are the Princeton Snap brushes in a size 6 and 2. Uh, or I've also got my craft -mo in, also in a size 6 and 2. So I don't know. I'm going to start with the craft -mo, And then um, if I'm not digging the way it's feeling, then I'm going to move on to my Princeton Snap. So, let's get started on this sunflower. I'm so excited. So, I started with sketching the sunflower itself, and I did use my stencil here so I could have a perfect circle. I will use also this T ruler so that I can put my guidelines in uh, so I know I'm having a straight line. The goal is to cut the circle, you know, in half. Uh, evenly and then do it diagonally so that we can know where the front leaves or petals of the sunflower is going to go. Then I will go ahead and do the petals. I did get a little bit too close to the top but I had already done this because I had gotten too close to the edge. <laughs> so I just went ahead and went with it uh, but you ideally want to make sure that all of your petals are the same size. And you want them like in an oval shape, but a petal shape as well. And then you can add the back petals in between the front petals. So that is what I'm doing right now. And the bottom two petals got a little bit fat and long, but it's okay. It ends up being pretty anyway. Don't stress out too much about it. Y'all, we're supposed to be having fun with this. And then in the middle, I do want it to, you know, have that middle circle so that we can know where to put our, the middle of the sunflower at. And I do take my kneaded eraser and kind of, you know, go over it so it's not as the sketch is not there. I add burnt umber and black and go ahead and do the center of the sunflower adding water to kind of make it a little bit lighter on the right side the left side is where the shadow is going to be so i just keep adding more dark colors over on the left side to make it more dark and with the water of course it's going to travel over to the right hand side but i did want it lighter on the right hand side because that's where my you know sun is coming so the petals the front petals the top petals is the pale lemon or not pale lemon but pale yellow and yellow ochre mixed together and then what i do is take that mixture put a little bit of that uh chronic i can't even say that word the gold in it uh to go on like the just the edges and down the middle a little bit to show you know a depth of flower while it's wet but the main the base color is the pale yellow and the yellow ochre the back palette petals um, is also that with just a smidge of that gold in it but there I put too much so I kind of wiped it up uh, because I didn't like it um, and then on the edges I will put just the gold and yellow ochre mixed together to give it even a darker color. So that is how I did the shadow work on the back side of these underneath petals is uh, again, base color and then adding 
the yellow ochre and the gold together. You, if you don't have the gold, you could put uh, burnt umber with it. Just a little bit. Little, little, little small amount. And I try to do little veins in that as well in the back while it was wet. Uh, my stem is just sap green right now. That is all I did with uh, it and the leaf. Uh, and then for the shadow works for that, I will add a little bit of burnt umber to the sap green to do uh, shadow work underneath the petals that it is going up underneath. And that is how I did the stem right there. That's the sap green and burnt umber mixed together, making it a nice dark beautiful green. I love sap green. Then I put the little seeds in by just using uh, black with just a little bit of the burnt. It's more black than the burnt umber, but it's the kind of mixture of the two. Then when I got into the light part, I kind of just dipped it in water and made it very faint. Uh, now that it is all dried, I will go and put more veins into the petals by using that same mixture that I use as a shadow work from behind the the back petals and make sure that you're kind of curving it uh, to go along with the shape of the petal and I will do that in the back as well I am adding a little bit of water here to kind of soften it up a little bit just a little just a tiny 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 bit and uh, I will do the exact same thing on the back side of the petals especially around the top petals to make it even look more set in back like they are behind these top petals. And then uh, I did feel like I needed to lighten it up a little bit. So I will end up using a little bit of white gouache in the base color and going over the top petals to kind of give it a little bit of not a highlight, but just to lighten it up a little bit. I just felt like it needed it. And then I will also do that same color and do it on the tips of all of the petals just to give it more movement more dimension i really love the way that this came out uh, i will also do the same thing with the stem but using green and the white gouache to kind of just give it a little bit of a highlight and to lighten it up and that is how i did it so there it is finished Oh my gosh, I think it turned out pretty cute. I had so much fun doing this today. I hope you enjoyed it too. Hope it inspired you to get out your watercolors and just play. The seeds are still a little wet, but that's okay. I like it. I think it turned out beautiful. All right, y'all. Well, that's it for this week's art video. Hope you enjoyed it. Oh, don't forget, I do a uh, studio vlog as well that gives you kind of a behind the scenes of everything that I'm working on for my Etsy store and even for my videos that I do. So check that out if you haven't. And uh, all of my social media is down below. I am on Pinterest as well now. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please share it give it a like and subscribe if you've not subscribed and comment all of those things help to grow my channel and i would appreciate it so much all right y'all y'all be good to one another and i'll talk to you later bye